It's time for another Dice Tower Review with John Richard. Howdy gamers, greetings from Indianapolis, Indiana, the gaming capital of the world. It's time for another board game review with me, Indiana John. Today we're taking a look at Flea Market, which is from the Funfair line from Mayfair Games, designed by Leo Colvini, and it is a bargain hunting dice game. It's a, a little bit of an economic game where you're trying to go around a flea market and purchase items and then try to sell those items back for a profit. Good old fashioned buy low and sell high. So let's take a look at the setup and gameplay of Flea Market and try to answer that all important gaming question, is it fun? All right, so here's the setup for flea market. You have a little board here that represents the path through your local flea market. And onto that board, you're gonna place these 16 tokens that represent very exciting items that you can purchase at the flea market. Everything from uh, designer shoes to magic beans and Hey, we got the Ark of the Covenant here, so that well, would be an exciting thing to find in a flea market. So all 16 of those are going to go there. Then each player is going to get a player token in their color and two dice that match that color. And you're going to get $24 in money chips. Now the money is in denominations of 1, 5, and 20. And if you're having a hard time in this video seeing the difference between those tokens, <laughs> don't worry because I can't tell the difference between them either and I'll definitely have something to say about that during my final thoughts. But anyway, I'm pretty sure that's $24 in, uh, in money there, so everybody's gonna get that. Um, then there's also these three white dice and a little bunny rabbit, white bunny rabbit token, which uh, represents the agent, so sort of the start player, and that will rotate around over the course of the game. Uh, but the start player is gonna get those three dice and will be the first agent in the game. So um, this is a very uh, kind of simple game of just buying and selling. You're trying to buy items and then sell them for a profit so that you can eventually get from $24 up to $45 which is the end condition. The first player to get to $45 is gonna be your winner. Um, so the way that a round works is very simple. Uh, the agent is going to roll these three dice and then that's going to determine which item is being put up for auction. So in this case, I've got a 16. And so we're gonna look for the number 16 here. We've got, well, here's 16 right here. So then that is gonna come off the board here and go onto the sale item square. and. After it goes onto the square there, then you're going to take the item that is closest to the entrance of the, um, uh, the start space on the flea market, and that's gonna move into the space where that token was. So you're gonna slowly, over the course of the game, be clearing out spaces here and sort of making a path here of empty spaces. So after that happens, then uh, this is going to go up for auction. Now, later on in the game, it's possible that you know several of these tokens have been bought by other players, and um, so they might belong to somebody else. So let's say that number 16 belonged to this player. Well then, uh, if 16 gets rolled, then this goes up for auction here. But before it goes up for auction, um, that player is gonna look at the, the, the last space, the latest space that's been cleared, and whatever number is there, they're gonna get bonus money equal to that amount. So in this case, uh, he's gonna get $4 in bonus money uh, for holding on to that item for that long. So uh, that will be, he'll get that no matter what, and then this thing is gonna go up for sale. Now, whether or not it came off the board in the middle here or from another player, uh, the bidding kind of works the same way. Then all the players are going to roll their dice, their two dice, and they're going to kind of keep them hidden from other players. And uh, you have an opportunity after you roll, you can take one of your dice and re-roll it. And what this represents, the addition of these dice, is the number of uh, your highest bid, of the bid that you're making for this. So uh, you have to decide whether you want to bid low or bid high on a particular item. Uh, and that's going to uh, kind of differ depending on what part of the game you're in. So let's say I've got a 10 here and I don't feel like re-rolling. And then everybody reveals their dice and then this is the, um, the bid that you have. And whoever has the highest number on their dice, uh, that's the highest bid, they get the first pick at this item here in the middle here. And they get to decide whether they want to buy it or whether whether they want to pass. And if they buy it, they just pay the money to the bank, or if the, it belonged to a player, then they'll pay that money directly to the player. And uh, then they'll get it, and that'll be the end of the round. Uh, if they decide to pass, then it moves on to the next highest bid, and so on, everybody getting an opportunity to either purchase it or to pass. If there's a tie, then you're gonna start with the agent player and go kind of clockwise, and that'll de de determine um, the order for, for tie breaking there. Um, so then once the item has been purchased, uh, well, if, if the item isn't purchased, if it gets passed up on, then um, if it was one of the ones from the middle here, then it's gonna to go to the agent player for free. 
or if it doesn't get uh, bought, uh, uh, sold by one of the other players who owns it, then it's going to go back to that player um, also for free. They just, they'll just get it back. So they will have gained that bonus money, but they weren't able to sell it for a profit or anything like that. So um, that is pretty much the entire game. So the game will continue in that fashion. You'll, um, the uh, agent token will pass to the left, and uh, that next player will roll up to see which, what's the next item that's up for bid. And so you're going to continue putting items up for sale, uh, selling them, uh, buying them, and then selling them back, trying to make a profit. Uh, you're going to be kind of looking at other players to see what they're doing to make sure uh, that they're not getting too close to that uh, $45 mark because you don't want to uh, give them the money that's going to cause them to win. And uh, this will just keep up until a player either reaches $45 or until this track is cleared of all tokens, uh, which I think it's pretty unlikely that's, that's going to happen. I think it's far more likely that someone will end up with $45. But like I said, it's a very simple game of buying and selling, and that is Flea Market. So I'm actually a pretty big fan of economic games, you know, games where you're buying low, selling high, trading commodities, uh, buying stock, watching that go up and down, things like that. You know, games like Acquire and um, Power Grid, I think, has a really good economic aspect to it. Um, and even some of the railroad games like Railways of the World has interesting uh, economic conditions to it. This is a much simpler economic game where it's just pure buying cheap, selling for more, trying to get a profit. And the margin isn't a whole lot here. You start off with 24 bucks, you only have to get to 45. That's $21 you have to earn the entire game. But it's actually kind of tricky to do that. And uh, you are kind of saddled a little bit by the dice rolling in the game and that you have are limited in what you're able to offer for your bid. So that one reroll is all that you get. So that uh, makes it a much lighter game and a little bit less strategic than some of the other economic games that I know. Uh, but it is also, uh, you know, in the Funfair line, it's more of a family game, a lighter game. And I think it's actually a really good one that you could, uh, with older children, that you could sort of teach them the, um, the basics of buying low and selling high and trying to turn a profit on, on something like that. Um, I do have to give a little bit of a hit to the components of this game. Um, the board is nice, the artwork is okay, um, but the little money chips, they are mis... most of the ones that were on mine were miscut, and I could barely tell the difference between the colors of those. I think if you have any degree of color blindness, you probably won't be able to tell at all. Um, and you, you have to squint to see the uh, numbers that are on each of the money chips. So I think they could have designed those a lot better. So the graphic design and art for, for those, uh, not so good. Um, but uh, overall, I think it's a fun little game. Um, like I said, it's real simple on the end of economic games, but um, I think it's a good introductory level uh, game of just learning how to buy low and sell high. So that is Flea Market. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.